Hello everyone, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. <clears throat> Today I'm doing my original design, a blaze. I was trying to think what to call it, and the different segments of color almost remind me of like flames. So I thought a blaze was a good name for it, and I did not see that it was used yet. I always check my name so that I don't accidentally use somebody else's, which happened on my very first bracelet I did, um, the inchworm. My daughter was, oh, it looks like an inchworm. I'm like, oh, perfect cute name. Didn't realize that, yeah, a lot of people use perfect cute names already, and that had been taken, so I'm like, well, what do I do, what do I do? So I put the in front of it to, uh, you know, let everyone know that it was a, a different design, and from that on, I tried really hard to make sure that mine was in some way unique, like the one I just put up, Chris and Cross, I mean, obviously Criss Cross is such a great name for a bracelet, and everyone had used it in many different ways, but that design so was Chrissy and Crossy that I had to somehow work it in, so hopefully Chris and Cross is unique enough. So anyhow, this is not too difficult to make. It does take four bars and it can be done with just one loom and one extra... Gosh! I'm sorry, just noticed my nails looking dirty even though I just scrubbed them and did the nail file thing and what can you do? Anyways, back to business. If you set your loom up like this, so this one here is right in the middle. Let me back up a little. Right in the middle. It, it pretty well secures. There's a little bit of play, but as long as you're not doing a super crazy triple looped or wrapped, you know, double, triple bands or whatever, um, I it's not going to pull this in too far and then you put the two on the end to support this long one which has no support in the middle. So it is an economical way to open up a you know, whole bunch more um, bracelets to do. I have many um, four, four bar designs and I'm sure there's other loomers that also like to use this um, four bars. So, for color A, which on here is caramel, I am going to be using, let's so stick together, the Persian, I think it's a lime green. And then for the middle, which I just refer to all those middle as B, it's alternating them. I just received my, oh, I think I can zoom a little closer so you can see better. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Okay. I just received a bag of the pastels, so I'm going to use the three warm colors. The pink, the salmon, and the pale yellow. I just think that'll be a nice soft, flowery with like a green leaf, which doesn't sound very ablaze to me, but it's more for the structure than the colors. And sometimes we name it for the color we happen to have made, and um, and somebody else does it, and it doesn't make you know, different colors doesn't make sense. But you know, we just come up with these names and do the best we can. So to start, we will take. I didn't even look this over. I mean, I, I actually, for those of you who are Instagram and are entering um, Loom's, Loom for Kaylee's contest, uh, I used some aspects of this bracelet along with another one that I've already uploaded and you've seen. Two things I liked you know, about both the bracelets and kind of um, made them work together. 
and I finished a bracelet late last night and I even got an awe out of my husband and you know he thinks it's, it's kind of silly but he's very glad that I have something to do he's a doll and he knows I'm creative and needs to do some do such things and it's not too expensive and it's easy to clean up after so we are going to do a one I originally had um, done this at an angle but this time I'm going to square it off so uh, we'll see what it looks like in the end. I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference. Um, there will be just one extra band here. Uh, contemplating, contemplating, contemplating. I'm going for it. We're going to do the square. If we don't like it, then we won't do that next time. <laughs> okay. So... Now we are going to quickly do a all the way up. You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to stick with the original plan. Because there's just not that many bands. Alright. I know. There I go changing things. Mid-stroke. But um, there's just not that many... There's not that much bulk here, so I don't think we need the extra space. So I'm going to stick with my original design. And quickly, um, just go up both sides and just do it to the second to the last pin. So you'll do it like this. And I will be back in a GIF. Okay. That didn't take too long, but, you know, part of me wanting to get off camera, it's easier to lean back and do this as opposed to sitting upright completely. Um, I have a little, just so much strength for that. But, I catch up on the news. <laughs> I get so back. Last week, I think I was back, like, a week behind, and I, you know, record the news so I can go fast forward through the commercials. Uh, and, yeah, so catching up and what's happening around our community and around the world. <laughs> okay, um, lastly, you're going to want to angle those in to match the other side of the bracelet. And now we can start our design. How am I going to do this? I don't think of which colors. I think I'm going to do pink first. So I do pink straight up and pink to the left and then do it on the other side pink straight up oops, pink. oops nope they look a lot alike but that's one of the things I want about this bracelet I just want graduated colors um, I mean I think I might if I do it again it will, I'll do the exact opposite so all you're going to do is go all the way up the loom like this just making these little kind of upside down L's. Actually, it's a, it's a seven on this side and upside an L on this, so this side. Okay. And you know you can use um, whatever colors you want, all the same color, all different colors. Um, just do two colors whatever suits your fancy. And I will get back to you in a moment. It sounds like a news broadcaster. Have fun. Sorry I took so long, everyone. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. But, as I started placing these, something came to my attention and it was bugging me. And I don't know if they meant to, but the pinks, there's two shades of pinks. And you really, unless you've got it at the exact right angle, this one's like I'm still contemplating which side. Nope, it's definitely. Can you see the difference? These have a more purple hue and these lean more towards the warm orange. So, this is my little tray of pastels, and there's definitely two shades of of the green 
And so it appears that there's two shades of blue, another sorting nightmare for my eyeballs. But when I was stretching them out, it was like, I don't know, just moving at certain angles, it was just driving me crazy. So I had to sort out my pinks enough to, um, I used the darker of the two. So now we are at the end, and I'm sorry I didn't warn you that um, it would be a little different at the end, but obviously, you know, we can't place one here, so we'll just finish it off by putting the two of your last color, just like that. It'll be a little different that end, but unless somebody's comparing both ends, it's not going to make a difference. Now, the next step is using whichever, you know, this color here is right here, these two bands. Take your a band of the same color, double it, and stretch it across. Hi, kitty. Like that. And so the next one's going to be said, What, sugar? I'm busy. Somebody wants my attention. Her food dish is probably empty. But I'm not the one who feeds you. Go see Olivia. <laughs> so you're to be doing this all the way up. So of course the next one's going to be, I'm sorry, I'm sitting back enjoying myself here. Right. Attention to the camera. Twist it one time around. And I just grab, whoops, I grab the two ends and then just stretch it off. Cross, I mean it's so easy when you do it that way. I'll show you one more time. We're back to the darker of the pink, so the less purple of the pink. Twist it. Yes, I, I, I don't watch back every minute of my videos, so I don't realize when I'm off camera, but I hope I'm, I'm, I'm keeping on track here. So, you know, do that all the way, and then while you're at it, this last set you're going to be capping off, and I'm just going to use my border color because that's the color I'm going to use for the extension also. Here is our bracelet, our loom rather, <coughs> excuse me, almost ready, well actually ready to start looping back. And I have my cap across these two, so now we can turn it around and begin. Alright, um, I did a little different last week, but it's not going to matter. I had these coming out first, but we are going to take the band that's on top and just get these two out of the way. I don't really need getting out of the way. Is, let's see. I'm sorry, my mind is going blank. Oh. So do those two up. And then we do these two over. And on this design, it really doesn't matter. You don't really have to go back and forth on each side. You, if it's, um, it's usually more efficient if you do, you know, more of a production. And just keep your hand on one side. There's a little less movement. Get it done. A little quicker like this. And it looks right there. So I think I'm doing good at staying on in the frame. So now I will show you from this side. Just grab the top one which goes outward and then up, outward, and up. So do that until you can't do any more of your colored bands in the middle. Now we are ready to do the sides or the borders. So we are going to make sure Debbie is can be seen. 
and you are simply going to, now this is going to be a little weird here because it isn't fully secured, but it's not really bad. You're just going to loop up each side. And I'll show you a few on this side, even though it's really the same thing. Come on. Oh, I did have it. <laughs> And you will be doing that all the way up this side, all the way up this side, and then the final band, if you feel comfortable, go from here to here, and here to here. If not, I will show you that when I come back. Now we are going to take these last two bands that need to be looped, kind of connector bands. And bring those to the center. Now we are ready. Oops, and I grabbed a little clip. Not really realizing I needed a big one, but I grabbed a clip, so that's a good thing. You know me and my clips. For those of you who will be making an extension, or at least oh, you still have to take it off the loom, I pull off one side, hold it the other hand, while I reach in and grab it. Place it back on the hook, turn it upside down, and the first one's always the hardest, the most difficult. But you bring it through like that, turn the hook up, back up. I'm sorry, I have a band in my mouth. <laughs> Turn it upside down and you do this. I do it to the halfway point. I have to clip on the middle of my under wrist. And that's five, including the one down there. Usually that works for me and it works for the little kids so it's um you know, it might be a little loose on them, but you definitely don't want anything to cut off the circulation. It'll be too tight. And actually, there's like a lot of kids that have wrists as big as mine. This mine is kind of puny. Alright, so we are done. Now to pull it off. I'm just going to release the tension. On the sides. Ouch. Oh. Sorry. Let's ignore the moans. Moans of pain. Okay. And now it should, yeah, it should pop right off. I think I'm going to really like. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. So, okay. I think either side, they look exactly alike to me. So whatever suits your fancy. Oh my gosh. I love those colors. Ain't it pretty? Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I love the bright pastels against the muted but still on the pastel side of um, you know tonality um, the the more muted lime green I think it's lime green it's, love it and then the gold to give it a little elegance oh I'm so happy I'm keeping this one <laughs> This isn't going in my bag. There's a few I keep for myself. And I know a lot of you like to do um, the band so it goes all the way around and that would definitely require an extension or for me to be brilliant enough to figure out how to transfer it off, you know, the, this end off and then back on, which I've seen a couple people do it. It just blows me away. But other than having it maybe just go down just around there, 
I don't think my wrists would like being um, enclosed in um, rubber bands. I think it would make me sweaty and itchy. So, but I, I think he, they, this length was probably chosen for the fact that it was aimed for little children. And as I was tucking, I was just putting on my remainder of my extension bands in the traditional method. And if you are new to this, um, just follow my lead. You know, just copy what I do and you will be fine, even though I haven't expressly explained how to do that. And then, of course, um, I haven't said this in a while, but you know, the rainbowloom.com website has, you know, quite a few um, bracelet tutorials and the woman that does them, she's, you know, very precise and it's wonderful, um, they're wonderful for beginners to completely understand and that person's a true teacher <laughs> unlike me so we pop off the clip and ta-da I think this is going to be a little snug on me a little bit maybe I'll make another one for me and throw this in the bag it just just fits but you know um, everything irritates my wrist right now as you can see but oh my gosh Love it. Now I have to go sort out all my pinks. I cannot stand when they're mixed up like this. So here you have a blaze. Do I have any right there? This was obviously, it was one of my earlier designs. I can tell by, you know, the method of looping I, I used. Um, more so just traditional. But I think it's a little different pattern. I haven't seen it before. So let me know what you think. Um, you know, on Instagram, you can give it a thumbs up, or whatever, uh, and send. Show me your versions of it. I love, love, love seeing everybody's um, renditions of my designs. It thrills me to no end, and amazes me when I see your completely different um, outlook. You know how you see it, and the colors you pick are just fascinating. And of course, um, besides choosing to follow me on Instagram, um, be sure to subscribe to Deb's thing on YouTube if you would like to continue to um, be updated on new tutorials. Now, I don't know if you can see on this one real quick, but there's little dark shadows. Um, instead of using the same color cap bands as um, I instructed here, I had used a burgundy, that burgundy brown. So there's little shadows of color and it makes, you know, it kind of looks different. So I think, I probably should have said at the beginning, if you want the, the color bands to stand out, you know, how the, like I said, it was a blaze and like little um, flames. Definitely use a dark, you see there, a dark color underneath to set off those colors, but I did not do that here, but nevertheless, I'm still loving it. So either way, a, a dark cap, the same one all the way through, or complementary caps. Okay, thank you so much for watching.